in this movie we will create our connection file that will connect our database of record with our PHP script so back to my editor in the folder of include I'm gonna create one new file with the name of db.php now inside this file I will add the necessary thing in order to create our connection with database so first adding PHP scope and then I will have this variable connecting DB that will be equal to our new PDO constant I will use the PDO MySQL layer in order to work with database so in the first argument of this PDO layer I have to put the PDO layer name so it will be my SQL inside single quote and then I have to specify the host name as we are working locally so our host will be local host then putting semicolon and then I have to add the database name so I can add the database name by adding DB name and then I have to mention my database so we have this database of record so mentioning this database name here so it will be record then in the second parameter we have to specify the username of our database as I don't have any username and password with this database so I will use the default username and password and the default username and password is root so in the second parameter adding this root default username and in the third parameter I will add the password of my database so I am using the default database with the username of default root so its password will be empty one that's why this empty string now all of this first parameter I wrote here is called data source network DSN so for the better demonstration I'm gonna cut all of this from here and let's create one variable with the name of DSN and put that string here now adding semicolon now I can simply mention this variable here so adding this variable DSN now this is it for creating a connection file so save this file now we will add the necessary thing inside this insert into database file so that we can use this file of db.php to add our data so right at the top of this insert into database.php file I will add php scope and right on line 2 we have to require this file of db.php so require underscore once function and putting this database file name db.php so now we require this file which means I can use anything for out of this file in this insert into database file so right on the next line I will have one if condition so the basic idea is we will add some data inside this form and when the user will click on this submit your record button we will take our data so we are taking our data by a user click on this button submit your record so I have to add a PHP function that can record whether this button has been clicked or not so I can use this PHP function which is is set so I will say if this button is set if this button is clicked so we have to get the name of this submit your record button so if I can show you real quick you can see on line 44 we have this button and its name is this submit with the capital S so I have to put this submit here so if this button is submit so we can get that button by using the super global of post so I can say here if that submit button is clicked then you should perform all of this code otherwise we will not take the data so inside this submit scope I will add one more if condition so that 
we should have some employee name or social security number if the user don't want to add the department salary and home address so we are making these field employee name and social security number necessary one so here i will add this function of empty so i will say that if this field of employee name is not empty so that's why i add this not symbol here so i can get that field of employee name so you can see that we have this field on line 28 and its name is e name with the capital e and n so going up so i can have this function empty so i can say if this field of e name is not empty by using super global of post and i can also wrap up this social security number field so i can say that and with the and operator not empty this field of social security number so we have this social security number field with the name of ssn so copying this name of this field ssn going up putting that one here with the super global of post make sure you put the right name of your field here otherwise it's not going to work so if our name and ssn field is not empty then perform all of this code otherwise we will have an else block in which we will have an echo statement and we will say please at least add name and social security number so if i save this one let's check this validation so if i refresh this page to bring the new php you can see i got the error db.php failed to open this file so we have the smaller b here and in our file we have the capital b so i have to correct the file name so db.php saving this file now refreshing my page and one more thing here this file is in include folder so i have to add the include here so go to my include folder and look for this file saving this one so if i refresh my page now you can see no error if i submit this button you can see i got the error message please at least name and social security number so please add so i can apply one class on this echo of error so i will add the span tag on this echo inside the double quote and its class will be field info heading so i cannot use the double quote inside double quote so let's make this one single quote so we applied the class of field info heading and now we need to and this span at the end so adding slash span so let's add this class of field info heading so opening my file of style.css and here i'm gonna paste some style to this class i gave it some color font family and font size so if i save this file and refresh my page you can see i got this error message so let's check it again submit my record i got this error so in case if the user adds something here in employee name and social security number submit my record i don't have any error if i just add the employee name not the social security number submit my record you can see i'm getting the error just due to adding the and operator in my file of insert in database where we added the validation on line 4 so when we don't have a problem with this validation we can have our couple of variable so i will add one variable with the name of e name that will get our field of e name and that field has the name of e name then we will have another variable with the name of ssn that will get our field of ssn from the form then we will have another variable with the name of dept that will get our field of department this field of department by its name so we have this field here 
or line 40 and it has the name of DEPT with the capital D. So putting it here, then we will have our variable of salary and we can get it by its name. So its name is this salary with the capital S. So putting it here, then we have this variable of home address that will get our field of home address. Let's confirm it. So its name is home address. Okay, so after getting our variables, we have to add this data in our table of employee underscore record. So first of all, in order to work with our database, we already included this file of db.php. So now I can work with this variable of connecting db that has all the butter and bread of our database collection. So I can include this variable by simply typing it so it will be connecting db variable. In the previous PHP version, we have to add the global constant before this variable that is being saved inside the other file. But in the latest version of PHP, we don't have to add the global. So I'm going to add this global in case if any one of you are using the lower version of PHP. Otherwise, if you are using the current version of PHP, you don't have to add the global. Now I grabbed this connecting db variable. So right on the next line, I can add my query. So writing this SQL here. So our SQL will be insert into my table of EMP underscore record. This table of EMP underscore record that we just created in our last movie. And then I have to mention the column name of this table. So we have the column of ID, E name, SS and D, PT salary and home address. We don't have to add this column of ID because it's a primary one. It will be unique and auto incremented. Our database will manage this ID column by itself. So adding our column of E name, all in smaller form. Then we have column of SSN. Then we will have our column of DEPT. Then we will have our column of salary and then home address. So I'm repeating myself again. These columns that you are putting inside this query should be same as you got in your table. Otherwise it won't going to work. So we mentioned all of these columns. So on the next line, we have to put the value to each of the column. So I will use the PDO named parameter so that our form will be SQL injection free. So before applying the named parameter to make our form free of SQL injection, let's learn about SQL injection in our next movie. What is SQL injection?